Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because today is going to be the first Big Sister video that I start as a little segment on my channel. Um, if you're wondering how this whole thing came about, I often get asked for advice on several things from you guys, and it means a lot that you even come to me for advice. It you know, makes me feel like you trust me and that's important, especially when we're building like this YouTube relationship. Um, so I decided to do this little segment. Um, I'm not sure how often you guys would like to see this, so I'd really appreciate a lot of feedback on this first video today. So I'm going to title these videos um, Big Sister Videos, and I'm either going to give you guys a chat about my personal experience on certain topics, um, just stories that I've learned a lot from that I feel like will benefit uh, younger or just viewers in general who've been through the same things, even if you can just relate, it's not even just advice, not saying that like I'm a magical genius who can answer all your advice problems, but hey, I mean I've been through some stuff probably similar to you and I can just give you guys my opinions on it. So some weeks I'll just chat about that and then other weeks I'll probably do advice Q&As, but I would love any of your feedback and what you would like in these videos in the comments below. But I thought I would start out today's first Big Sister video with a little story. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about my love experience where I was like jaded. Um, I've only been really jaded once and like kind of heartbroken once like like a big heartbreak and it was weird because it was with a guy that like I wasn't even dating but I had really fallen for him so this is like the one thing that sticks out in my mind and my friends know me really well but it's like the one time I felt like I got like backstabbed and just like really heartbroken and it can kind of relate to um a lot of viewers that write into me about similar things that I don't know we'll get into later but anyway so I had met this guy online and okay I'm trying to think back this is this is like a solid like four or five four years ago maybe something around that time but okay so I met this guy online just on like some social media and we were chatting a lot and kind of friendly it wasn't like a dating website or anything it was just some social media at the time because you know social media is always popping in and out, there's always new things, but so we decided to hang out one day, we were from the same city, and we were just hanging out, and we kind of built this friendship, but like, I really liked him, and he always showed these little signs that he was interested in me, and it was just like killing me, because we would always hang out, and I just really like felt this connection for this guy, and like, oh god, he would like play with my hair, and I was just like going like crazy, like I liked him so much, like we weren't going on dates, we were just hanging out, and we were friends, we were friends. We didn't kiss or anything ever, but he always, I just always felt like he liked me and it drove me nuts. So like one time he had confessed to me that like he thought he was a sex addict and that like he had issues with women and all this stuff and ladies that's like a red flag. That's a red flag. <laughs> but I didn't really think of that at the time. I was kind of just like okay. <laughs> like, like let's, I, of course like this is a problem that not just women, but just some people have, like, a nurturing nature. I don't want to say, like, oh, women want to rescue people, because I hate when people, that's, like, I guess I kind of have a slightly feminist mind. I don't like to stereotype all women as, like, a certain way. Um, just some people in general are, like, nurturers, and we want to help people. So I was like, let's write down all the names of these people, and, like, you need to, like, make amends and all this stuff. We were talking about, like, getting steps, like, to help him or whatever. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Because, like, he genuinely seemed like he wanted to, like, change and all of this nonsense, whatever. I don't know. I didn't, he didn't seem that way to me. When we hung out, we would pretty much just, like, go for drives and have long talks, and I, that's what I liked about him. We could just really talk and connect, and he showed me new music and uh, just get to know me, and um, he didn't seem, like, judgmental. He was just, like, a cool friend to hang out with, but I had developed feelings for him. I thought he was cute and this and that, whatever. So, um... As it went on, you can kind of tell that, like, he clearly didn't want to change, whatever, and I started to introduce him to my friend at the time, and she was, like, my best, best friend, and, oh, God, I know, this story's, like, so frustrating. I don't even, I think back on it, it's just like, ugh. But, um, I introduced him to my friend who kind of had some similar issues to him, not, like, exactly the same, but, uh, the three of us would hang out, and it was fun. And then I started to realize that, like, they would hang out behind my back. And then, like, they would start to exclude me. And then I found out that they hooked up. And, like, she knew that I really liked him. And it kind of just broke my heart. And I just felt really jaded by the experience. And then she told me that he told her that I was, um, just a little too big for him. And 
that's like that shit that will emotionally scar you for a little while when you like, let me summarize this situation here. I had the biggest feelings for this guy. I introduced him to who I think's my best friend, who hooks up with him behind my back, which I don't think she ever admitted to, but, like, I, it was obvious. Just trust me when I say it was obvious. Um, and then she tells me that he told her that I was just a little too big for him. Like, he, he liked me, but I was just a little too big. <sighs> That's the time I was jaded. <laughs> but um, yeah, after that, that was like the first and pretty much only time I've ever felt really betrayed and very like backstabbed. Um, only because I had such like strong feelings for him and you know, it just, it's just, it's not like a good feeling really. So anyway, the moral of the story is if a guy really likes you, let him not chase you, but like let him pursue you. Don't try to save anybody. Um, I know a lot of people think that they can change the man and make them who they want to be. Like, a man is pretty much who he is, and he's going to change on his own terms. Overall, I'm going to just be honest here, men don't change for you. Like, when they need to change, they'll change. But ultimately, guys are who they are. You can't make someone who you want them to be. You can't mold someone into who you want them to be. Uh, that's just a really big thing. I'm a big advocate of Steve Harvey, and I watch his show, and I read his book, and watch the movie, and... I think what he has to say is most of the time really, really accurate. Don't you try to change for a guy and don't try to change a guy. Like, I think you can change to a certain extent, like if you need to um, adapt to a certain like relationship style, like don't go and cheat on your boyfriend or girlfriend, but ultimately like people are who they are and people can change and I have seen it happen, but it's more of a rare occasion. It's never going to be something huge. Like ultimately people have the qualities in them that they're going to have. Uh, and being like hurt and knowing like if you've ever been in a similar situation to me like it sucks and I only got over that like through time I was just totally heartbroken like to be honest I couldn't talk to either one of them after that like it just totally broke me and I mean she moved I don't know where he is I don't know that was years and years and years ago I'm not someone to hold grudges on anybody and I'm not someone to really burn bridges like I'm someone who accepts apologies and moves on because I don't like to be in a place where I feel like I have to hold a grudge against someone it's just not my style I l try to let things go the best I can but yeah that was like the one time I felt really betrayed and I try not to like let it jade me you just have to give it time and then eventually you can move on and even though some guys are really like douchey <laughs> trust me when I say that there are good ones and they do come eventually it's just funny because at the time when we're in that state and like something really like sad just happened to us we don't really think that it can get better in the future but that's why I'm here as a big sister to tell you that it gets better uh, it gets easier over time it just takes time but it sucks and I feel you I've been there and nothing's worse than like not only did you hook up with my best friend and like you led me on for so long thinking that like I had a chance with you over time but then you had to like tell her that I was just a little too big for you it's like ugh. I'm just I'm glad we had never hooked up I'm glad we never did any of that stuff and it's just I don't know make sure you have like a good intention or the guy have has a good intention with you because that's ultimately so 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 important but uh I think I got all my points across. I don't think I planned that story out very well. It's probably just like a big old jumble in cyberspace. <laughs> but ultimately the goal of these videos are you to feel like relatable to and just for me to give you my two cents on the situation. But nothing, nothing is worse than being rejected and I know nothing feels worse anyway. There are worse things. Ultimately, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There are worse things and being rejected, ultimately, I've talked about this so many times. This is a whole separate video, which I have made before and I will find it somewhere and link it below. But rejection is God's protection. That is one of the biggest things I can say to you. He's got your back, even if you're not religious. Like, I know, I don't know, but you could say the universe, whatever. Um, What's meant to be for you is going to come for you and happen for you. So if you're being rejected by this guy, like, God is literally like, girl, he's not meant for you. Like, he's just going to mess up your life, whatever. So 
trust that whatever is meant to be will be and that rejection is God's protection. Whether it's from a guy, a job, uh, anything in your life, you are on a path for a reason and everything happens for a reason. So just know that the heartache that you feel now does go away and better things do come. And remember that someone out there is going to love you for you. You're not a little too big. You're not a little too small. You're not too tall. You're not too short. You're not too this or that. You are perfect just as you are and there's someone out there who is going to love you for that. And if they think you're just a little bit too much of this or that, then they're just wrong for you. And remember that, like literally, the right person comes along and will think you are banging. <laughs> so literally, patience is the key. A good person will come along for you, guy, girl, whoever you like, they're out there for you and they're coming. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and relatable anyway. I just wanted to share with you like the one time I was just really jaded. I have plenty of other more stories. So uh, comment below what do you want to hear in these big sister videos. Any Again, any feedback is totally appreciated. Um, and topics are also very appreciated because I'm doing these for you guys. And it's kind of nice just because I feel like it's a connecting source for us and we can kind of just relate and get all of our stories out there. So anyway, guys, I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.